Hey everyone, I'm Heather. Welcome back to my week by week pregnancy journal. If this is your first time here, you're kind of late because it's almost over. <laughs> But no, if this is your first time here, I'm going to be talking about everything that happened during week 38 and kind of 39 of my first pregnancy. This will actually be my last video update because we have a C-section scheduled in three days. So, kind anyway. Of, kind of crazy. But check out the description area for a quick breakdown of this video if you just want to skip around to a certain topic or see how my bump is progressing. If you haven't noticed, there's a secret message on my belly. Just kidding. My husband did some belly paint artwork. I'll show you that at the end of the video. <laughs> uh. Yeah. It's like the carrots and the quinoa are like... <laughs> Car carby. carby. Blandy. It's like bland. Like the strawberry doesn't kick it out. Oh, can't wait to feed our kids stuff. But it's good to know, like, don't give them too too much of sweet stuff because... He's not going to like the other stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Start out with broccoli <laughs> mash. <laughs> broccoli and potato. So how big is the baby this week? About 19 to 21 inches long and about 6 and a half to 7 pounds. About the size of a gallon of ice cream, like the mint chocolate chip that I ate all of. The other day. No, it was throughout like a week. My husband thinks that I ate it all. You did. I didn't get any. My indigestion has been really bad. Ice cream helps it. Remember you were screaming at me, Where are my <laughs> jimmies? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. You took my jimmies. <laughs> I'm in the other room like, what the <laughs> f*** are you talking about? Where were they? You found them. <laughs> you Wherever you put them, not me. I don't eat rainbow jimmies. I eat chocolate jimmies. What's happening in development? As of right now, all systems are a go. Like, everything is developed and ready for the baby to come out of the womb. Fat is still depositing. And, yeah, everything's kind of just... Betty. Symptoms this week, I've just been so tired. Just so tired. Even more than last week. It's just hard to get up in the morning. I am totally taking advantage of sleeping in because everyone keeps telling me, get your sleep while you can because you know you're not gonna be sleeping. So that is just running through my head like a song on repeat. <sighs> I don't know. It's like part of you doesn't want to waste your day because there's things that you want to do and you just keep running through things that you want to do before the baby gets here. But then on the other hand, it's like, well, people keep telling me I should just sleep. So I should just sleep. <laughs> so I've been sleeping till like 10, rolling out of bed when I can. But yeah, that's another thing. Turning in bed is just so hard in the middle of the night sometimes. I think it's just the maybe the weight of my belly. And then the shooting back pain, that's what really debilitates me kind of. Because when I lay on my one side for too long, I literally need my husband to get up and pick my hips up and turn them for me so that I could turn from laying on my right side to my left side. And he's, he's the strong man. Yeah, so strong. And he wakes up in the middle of the night and helps me turn my hips. But thankfully, that's only been the last like week and a half that that's really been happening. Up until then, I was surviving on my own. Getting ready in the morning definitely takes more energy. It just, it takes a lot of energy, actually. It's like the last thing I want to do. But once I am up and ready and my hair is done and my makeup's on and I'm showered, I'm like ready for the day and then I get to like midday and then I want to take a nap but I can kind of like force myself to kind of stick it out through the rest of the day and then crash at the end. Just everything is just the motivation to do it is just dwindling. Definitely back aches, the acid reflux is out of control. This last week I ran out of saltines so I've just been taking Tums and I keep forgetting to get more saltines but it's like no matter what you do, it's just going to come up. It might be him moving around and just shoving his head up higher like it's happening now. But, um... <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah, it just happens. Like... I get it. Yeah. 
The restless legs definitely just acts up out of nowhere and it's like crazy. It's like you've got a little dancing feet and you just need to stretch out and move. When my husband was painting my belly, he thought I was just being a jerk. And I'm just like, no, it's just I'm sitting still. I, gotta... <laughs> I just can't sit still. He's like, you're the worst canvas. <laughs> you're just moving everywhere. I know, I couldn't control it. Right. Well, don't don't pop pop your belly. Oh. Oh. I'm so tired now. Um, cravings. Let's see what do I want this week. Watermelon sweets. Bought a ton of candy. Not the best thing for the baby, but pickles. Still pickles. Still. I just make sure that I always have a jar of pickles on hand. How my body has changed, this will probably be my final measurement because at this point we're recording this, I am 39 weeks and one day. My belly is almost 12 inches larger than pre-pregnancy and I have gained 23 pounds as of right now. How am I feeling emotionally? Just very, very emotional. Like I think in last week's video I had said that I think it was going to hit me this week. So around when the countdown to the C-section got to five days and I was saying, oh my gosh, tomorrow will be four days. That's when it kind of hit me in the note on that five days prior day when people were asking how long and I was like, tomorrow will be four days. Then I would just start crying. The one day I just, it started midday and didn't stop. I cried probably five or six times sporadically throughout the day and it just keeps happening and things keep happening that trigger it too. Like my husband bought letters for the possible name for the baby and whipped them out of nowhere and it's like, ah, like we said it, but you know, we, we also said that we were going to wait until the baby pops out to name him. And then of course my mom came over later and then she saw the letters in the room and she started crying and said, oh my God, he's got a name. Like they knew too, but it's just crazy to see it. And then my Instagram hit 10,000 wonderful followers and my husband surprised me with the one and the zero and the K and those gigantic balloons. So I, he's like, wait, 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 don't go into the nursery. And he had them all tied up in there and then he opened the door and made me cry. Just everything is just making me cry. Things we did this week, my husband is just powering through. Like I said, he is nesting hardcore for the last month. He started a project and finished it, which was doing our entire walkway in the front of the house and going along the side with brick and then his goal is to do some river rock along the edges and stuff like that but he completed the entire thing brick wise and like doing the under stone and sand and tamping it and laying the brick and cutting the brick i am just so proud of him i can't even right, hammer it in nice <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. Thank you. Meanwhile, I'm telling him to go get an estimate for somebody to do it and he's like, no, that's going to be at the least a $10,000 job and I can do it for, you know, probably three. And what do you know, my little handyman. 1,800 and I finished it. 500 square feet. Doesn't mean anything to me, but maybe you do. <laughs> I know what it looks like, but I guess 500 square feet, it's, it's a big area Sorry. that I see. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. But all our family ended up coming and helping it at, on their individual days over the weekends and stuff, which sped up the process tremendously. They, I guess, realized that he wasn't kidding and he was going to start this project. And that's when it was like, oh, they're so awesome. They all, all wanted to get their hands in there and participate. And, help us get ready for this baby. And I think that he will finish it before the baby comes because he's working on it every single day. Well, at least to like a good point where it's walkable, then he can finish the landscaping pieces of it whenever. Also, I set up my breast pump this week, not really set it up, but I opened it. I did end up getting the Spectra breast pump and I did a lot of research with my Instagram stories and asking other mommies out there what breast pump I should get and got a lot of great responses. I was between Medela and Spectra, so a lot of women that had the Medela and then they got the Spectra next said that there's a lot that they prefer with the Spectra and they made more 
more milk, it was more comfortable, it had to vibrate, it's a closed system. So those are just a few of the things that helped me make my decision. Also, I set up the rock and play. We had the rock and play. I'm just starting to slowly take things out of boxes and make them accessible for when we come home and everything should kind of be ready, I feel like. We shouldn't be putting things together. Finally packed my hospital bag and got breastfeeding tank tops and my bras finally came. Also, I made a birth plan. One day recently, I woke up and I said, I gotta make a birth plan. <laughs> And I sat at the computer, it was like seven o'clock in the morning. And as you know, I have not been waking up early at all, but something boosted me out of bed and I was like, I have to make this. I think just to come it's comforting to myself I don't know if I talked about it before but this week we had our appointment with the doctor that's gonna do our surgery and I came across all of this information for gentle c-section which there's different things that they can do in the hospital to kind of accommodate it and make it more of a pleasurable experience especially if it's not emergent and it is a planned like for breach or something like that and it doesn't seem like the hospital that I will be del delivering at accommodates that with like a see-through drape or a pass-through drape giving you the baby right on your chest to do skin to skin right away to like cord clamping um, putting the EKG leads on your back or another part of your body so that you can have that free chest area to have the baby on you keeping one arm free at least so that you can hold the baby, things like that. So there were just certain things that I picked out that I did put into a birth plan while we were at the doctor's appointment. I mentioned it to her and they don't have the see-through drape and all of that, but it kind of felt like, let's see when it happens and see what, like how it goes and what they can kind of, you know, bend for us. So having it written down on a piece of paper to give them, I, it makes me feel more comfortable and less anxious. Things I'm looking forward to, definitely meeting him for the first time, hearing his little cry. I don't know why I'm not crying now, but usually when I say these things, I am bawling my eyes out because I just am thinking too hard about it. But definitely hearing his cry, seeing his face, who's he gonna look like, what color hair is he gonna have, just what's he gonna look like, how little is he gonna be, how big is he gonna be. Things I'm nervous or scared about, definitely, you know, the things in my birth plan not happening, but it's okay. I know that there's reasons for things and we'll just see how it goes. I just want my baby out safe and for me to be safe after, you know, surgery is finished and, and all of that. So, and for surgery to go smooth. And I think we're both, my husband more, just a little nervous and worried, like, I hope nothing happens before the scheduled C-section, like my water breaking or labor starting. It's just like everything seems so good and planned right now, even though this is not the way we planned it for it to go. But now we're just like, just get to the date. <laughs> Stay in there. Stay in there. Don't move. Don't do anything crazy. If you want to flip around, go for it. But if he flips right now, we are going to freak out. It'll just be like, I mean, now your mind is just so set on c-section and you've accepted the fact that that's how it's gonna go i mean me personally i have and i think i've you know convinced my husband now that you know everything will be okay so if he did flip it would be surprising <laughs> so one of the things on my birth plan actually is to make sure that they do the ultrasound as soon as possible when i arrive that morning because What's the point of hooking me up, doing all this other stuff, then doing the ultrasound right before, you know, it's like, just make sure he's still breech. Otherwise they would send me home and then I would progress into labor naturally. I guess that's it for a week, it's the last weeks, whatever weeks this is. The end. Yeah. Of your first pregnancy. Whoa. It's crazy. And I'm so tired right now. <laughs> Oh, I can't imagine, like, I just can't imagine because I feel tired right now. What, like, how tired am I going to be? Don't answer that it's gonna, question. <laughs> it's going to be a different kind of tired, though, I, I feel like. It's going to be and like... I feel like, and one of my other thoughts was just, I'm getting up to pee so much in, in the middle of the night that I feel like that's kind of getting me used to getting up because I'm getting up like six times a night. But the thing that is really sucky is getting up right now because my belly is so big and like I said I need 
help to turn and help to get out and then my back pain so I'm thinking it's gonna be wonderful well not wonderful but I'm gonna have all this weight out of my belly I'm gonna be able to move and hopefully my back pain isn't too bad I'll have pain of the incision and all of that and bleeding and you know other things to deal with but I think it's only gonna get better from there <laughs> knock on wood knock on wood to close this up, thanks again for watching my video, my videos, following my pregnancy journey. That is the recap of my last week documenting this pregnancy. And it's just blowing my mind. Make sure to like this video and definitely subscribe to our channel because it's not going to stop here. I hope to continue posting after pregnancy about postpartum, having a baby, being a mother for, for the first time. So stay tuned for those videos and definitely click the little bell so that you get notifications when I post because I don't know if I'm going to be on a schedule of posting. I'm not really <laughs> on a schedule now. I record them on time but posting them I'm pretty late on doing that. But yeah, that's a wrap. Let's take a look at this beautiful artwork on my belly and see how my bump progressed. So this is my belly for actually week 39, so you know, usually I do it week 39. First day of week 39 goes for week 38, but this is our celebratory belly paint because this will be the last update video because in four days we have a C-section. Isn't he so pretty? Isn't he so pretty? What's yours? Uh, banana, mango, pear. We're eating baby food. We're gonna make our own baby food though. Mm. You have to mush it up before you, it's like to mix it. Oh. Like this. Mm. Pretty good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? No, it was like a little bit of a different kick. I usually eat that one. <laughs> You want to train? This is... This is this one. Mm. Oh, I'll try yours. It's good. Mine is strawberry, carrot, quinoa. She, quinoa? I know, oh. that's what the kick was. <laughs> it's like bubble tea. Mm. It's not as sweet as this one. <laughs> It's kind, of, it's kind of bready. That one's good though, right? Yeah. What is it again? Uh, banana mango pear. Banana mango pear. Yeah, I got three of them. I ate one already. They're only 70 calories. I know, my dad stepped on it when he walked into the <laughs> living room. <laughs> was he like, why do you have garbage all over your house? <laughs> or you're like, that's because we give our dog everything to like. <laughs> and then he doesn't throw it away. So it sits there for two weeks and we find we find yogurt containers all over the house. Because we don't hang in the living room anymore. I know, I can't wait to hang in the living room again. Because you can't, you're not comfortable. <laughs> I mean, all you do is lay in bed. 